I'm going to start off by asking you, and, and referring to another short story that in the collection, um, the story Edinburgh, mm -hmm. where the, the greengrocer, Peter, um, meets a woman who's a, a customer who comes into the, the store. And it, it all goes horribly wrong. But at the end, he, he, another woman comes in and, and hands him a leaflet about um, connecting with the world and mm -hmm. trying so to, to heal him. And he says over and over again, he said, we're, we're not all connected. And it seems that that, that theme, that, that notion of connectedness, which is there in, in that story too, um, is something that, that draws you again and again and again. And I wondered why you think it is that it's, it's one of the most crucial things when we seem to be surrounded by ways of connecting. If you think about mm -hmm. iPhones and Blackberries, it's impossible sometimes not to be connected, yeah. <laughs> literally. Um, it is a paradoxical thing. I mean, you, I just, you, you write yourself. I mean, if, if you didn't think we could be connected, you wouldn't bother, really. Because mm. there would be no point. Um, we kind of are all connected, and we're kind of not. I, it's this strange, you know, we're all the same species. If, if we hang about with each other, we tend to breathe at the same rate. You, you know, there are all kinds of ways where we're very plumbed into each other. Um, we probably are technically different people. Um, you, can't, you can't be inside somebody else's head. Um, you can't absolutely know what somebody else is thinking. Somebody can't absolutely know you, except, you know, very occasionally. Um, which is, which is sort of lovely, because there's lots of things you wouldn't want them to know about. Uh, and, and it's kind of terrible. And, you know, it makes you underestimate everybody, because um, you don't know how large anybody is. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a double-edged thing. Um, and, I mean, that, that's probably the most themed collection, because mm. the title story is kind of about, about somebody who's a car crash. and. That's the first time I've had a story with a title and both of them suggesting, um, let's just do an entire book about, about car crashes. Because uh, that wouldn't be like any of the others. Uh, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it, it was particularly about people, because obviously, you know, one of the most hurtful things is, is to think you're connected and not be or have been and then it stops or, uh, you know, mm. whatever goes wrong. Um, I can't quite remember the quote, but Frammy Freud says something roughly along the lines of we're never more hopelessly bewildered than when we are. Uh, I think uh, unfortunately in love or, or disappointedly in love. Um, he knew a thing or two about cigars. Um, so yeah, it does come up. It seems to work particularly well for you with the short story format. The actual structure seems to suit it, the impossibility. Of it. Yeah, it's it's a kind of um, it's quite a dense form and quite a penetrative form, and you can do things to people that you couldn't do long term because it would make them ill. Um, <laughs> Too many consequences. Yeah, and you can and you can look at a you know a, a specific moment. So in like, like all of those stories are quite often not the moment when the rock hits you because that's a bit numb and wordless quite often. But the, you know when the echoes start or when people are locked in what happens next and can't quite get out or don't know what to do. And that, you know, that's obviously not a novel because it's not enough plot, even for one of mine. Um, <laughs> oh, we were talking about that in London <laughs> only the other day. I just remember doing an Arvon Foundation course. I will not say the gentleman's name, but a very, very old and respected, and he may be dead now. Um, <laughs> not due to any wishes on my part. <laughs> um, very respected Scottish author came, and he was our visiting author, and did lots of very interesting things, like drinking everybody's wine and being rude to everyone, actually. But, um, he, he just turned up and sat on the sofa, and he was sort of going, hello, respected person that I hadn't actually met, and he said, I think he managed to say hello, but then he immediately said, well, very different types of writer, and I went, okay. And he, and he said, yes, because I'm interested in character and plot. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, I'm quite interested in going outside. Because <laughs> the rules are that I can't slap you. <laughs> you rude, bitter old man. Um, but there you go.